Well, when I first heard the Gretsch guitars, really the first time is when I saw George Harrison holding one, and I saw that Gretsch name, and really, at that time, it was just um, synonymous with guitar, being that young. <clears throat> and then, whenever you crossed over the, the Williamsburg Bridge into Manhattan, there was the Gretsch building. It was kind of like the hometown guitar company, you know? And then, you know, later meeting Fred Gretsch and the family, I realized that their family was pretty much from the same neighborhood as where my family came from originally. And later on, I discovered Eddie Cochran. And I just, you know, then I saw that Gretsch name again. <clears throat> and then uh, later on, when I could afford to buy other guitars, you know, tried out different, different kinds. And Gretsch was the sound I was looking for. You know, it was just that sound in between, you know, a Gibson and a, and a Fender. The Gretsch kind of was right in the middle there. It had the twang, yet it could growl, like I just showed you, you know, it had that. So, um, yeah, that's always, it's always been the guitar for me. It's what I grew up with, and, uh, you know, it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. 